Now that right there is an engine mount. It keeps the engine obviously mounted to the vehicle. Make sure it doesn't shake too much around. Um, that eventually ties into the engine block. Guess what we have going around it? The belt right there. The belt goes around. I couldn't find my spotlight, so now I'm using this little headlamp thing. It goes around and down. There's a belt tensioner right there. I just replaced that, replaced the alternator. As you can see, it looks so much better than everything else in there. And it goes down, around, in there. It's literally around the engine mount. So, what we have to do is take off these two bolts right there and then slip it through there and that's that won't be pleasant okay once you replace it there's the belt tensioner right there and it goes around you have to do that exactly i couldn't really get down there with a regular ratchet but now we're going to be able to and also as you can see i got extensions i'll be able to reach down there with these and easily get it don't have this engine block in your way just follow all the steps that I'm doing excluding the ones about the engine block okay so right now what we got to do jack it up carefully now if you're replacing your serpentine belt normally without an engine block in the way don't worry about this you don't need to do it and actually you shouldn't do it because this part what we're about to do you have to do carefully okay um, so I have this little piece of wood here obviously has seen other jacks recently and we're just gonna put it up against here we're gonna put that right under the oil pan you probably can't see it it's that's not it right there that is the frame but we're gonna put it up under the oil pan right there that ribbed thing that's the oil pan and we're gonna spread out the weight with the wooden with the wooden block there and so we don't damage anything it's very key to not to use the wooden thing because if you don't you're gonna mess your car up but here's the thing you don't want to jack up the car on the oil pan that is idiotic don't do that okay you just want to support the engine that's all you're doing you're literally taking the weight off of the engine mount you shouldn't even if you if your wheels are lifting off the ground you you're already too far gone son you're, you're done okay all you're doing is you should see the engine move more than the car it is it is supported by this block now um, and if I find that is it's not enough so engine support I'll jack it up a little bit more but just like a haircut you can always take off more but you can't put more back on so if you fuck it up you're done for and you have to buy a new oil pan at least plop it on there and now you might be asking but oh, wait dude what if I don't know which way I should turn it left or right that's the thing sometimes you just don't know so try both here's my trusty ghetto breaker bar here um, it's made out of copper uh, yeah I know I'm sorry but it was the only one that fit around ratchets so I did find which way it is it's right here's the thing though I'm gonna loosen them both at the same time and then take them off so you know um, hopefully I get this uh, so it, I, I you know you always take precautions when you go into it. planets unknown all right, so I got it off. Um, it moved a little bit. Um, as you can see, it kind of sheared a bit, so I had to jack it up a little bit. And um, uh, if if it's difficult to get back on, just find the right height for the engine. So to remove the serpentine belt, all you need is just a ratchet. 3 8 inch ratchet right there. Um, this is fine. And then probably a breaker bar. Some people want you to get a serpentine belt loosener. You don't have to. This will do. So find your belt tensioner. There's mine right there. Um, it's the only thing that moves. Okay. Um, and it has a little roller arm that extends right there as you can see. Um, and see that hole right there? There's a square hole right there. That's what we're aiming for right here. Okay. Set your ratchet for 
the direction that you will be loosening it. So that way, right there, like that. So I'll be able to loosen it like that, okay? Slip it in there and then attach the your breaker bar or whatever you want to use. You have to you have to get it off of the tensioner. You don't take the tensioner off with this, okay? You you loosen it up so that you can slip the belt off the tensioner and then off all the other parts, okay? So what I mean by that is while you're pushing this back, you're going to want to grab that serpentine belt, okay? You might be able to get someone else to help you with this, but and then as soon as you get that belt off, you can let the tensioner go carefully. All right, so I actually had to jack it up so much more than I thought I had to. Carefully remove the belt. Now it's uh, now it's off, and I'm gonna uh, carefully slip the bottom of the belt through these crevices, which should be a load of. But thankfully, look at this now. This moves, so I can flex it to my kneading. Uh, what this basically does is dampens the suspension every time you bounce over the highways. If you don't have this in your fucking way, which is a pain in the ass, you just take it off. Jesus Christ. You just take it off. You just slip it off. Ooh, wouldn't I love to be in your position right now? I actually figured it out. So I jacked it up all the way to the point where it was contacting this so what I did as you can see it's in that little pocket right there so what I'm gonna do is lower the jack so it gives me a little bit of gap there and then I'm gonna slip it through and then boom I'll be done So there it is a little pain in the ass um, now yours might be worse than this is there anything in there oh here it is so you see how you can see the other side that's not good you can see the other side of this that's what I saw so this was curved around and on the alternator. So that's what I saw. That's probably causing squeaking. That's that's not acceptable. Otherwise, if I think if there's more than three cracks or like three full cracks within like an inch, then you should replace it. I'm gonna very carefully through the same process put the new one on. It's back in that little pocket right there. And I'm going to jack it up fully so they're making full contact. Can't really see it. Uh, this thing smells uncomfortably good. It got down in there. I tried to be careful not to pinch it. Um, let's check it out. I don't think I did. Uh, if I did, well, you're probably not going to like... Oh, you got to walk and do it all over again, dude. You got to get another one. Oh, you fucked up. No, it's just dirt. Do it on there. Uh, you should try to limit your your skin contact with this because dirt everything wears it down. As you can see, this is a brand new alternator, but those it already got weared down. Um, it's down in there, and now I'm gonna wind it up following this very carefully. I might just mount it back up so it's in the correct place. Once you start uh, putting the jacks in or putting the bolts in, it'll it'll sh shape up real quick. This is a good time if you suspect any rollers to be the culprit of the sound or any pumps like this, power steering pump, um, water pump, any of those, clean it, check it out. Uh, like anything when you're working on cars, tighten them together. Uh, and if you don't know if they need to be tightened together, just do it anyways. It doesn't hurt. You're supposed to do it when you tighten the wheels. And it doesn't hurt to do it if you're when you're taking them off. So that's why I took them off together. Because if I had one that was loose and then one that was not loose, the engine would literally be falling with that one bolt. So now that I've been tightening the other one, that's when you should definitely. Jesus Christ! Whatever the fuck this is, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is, but this has been an extreme pain in the ass throughout this entire process. I don't know what this is. If you know what it is, please leave a comment because I have no idea. It's an extreme pain in the ass. All right, now that you got it tightened, um, uh, very painfully, we're gonna put the belt back together. Now, start at the bottom, okay? This is very essential. You're gonna wanna be careful throughout this entire process. Just start at the bottom. But for a reference, you're gonna wanna do your belt tensioner last. So get that alternator strung up or whatever is there before the belt tensioner and then just, just let it sit here. So for the same thing, 
you're going to want to loosen it so it's in there and then align it and then carefully let it go and then we'll go on to the next step. Now this step is essential, okay? This goes for all cars, not just the ones with the engine mount in the way. It's so essential to check every part. If you fuck up and you don't check it all, you're going to be right back where you started replacing your serpentine belt. Make sure that all the ribs are on. And then here's with the idler rollers. You're going to want to make sure that it's in between these black marks and exactly in between on all parts of it. It's going to nudge it. And if it's too tight, you can always just give it a little pull. Give the belt a little pull and then push it over yourself. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. This Throughout this whole video, I sound dyslexic. Don't worry, if you have oil on the board, that means you put it in the right place. I uh, didn't show you guys this last time, in the last car video I did. There's a little trigger for those, for those wonderful liberals out there. You're going to want to listen for those ticks. If you guys watched my last car video, I just replaced the muffler. There's the old one right there. So obviously it sounds good. Great. If you want to go see that, I'll put a link in the description to that wonderful new thing. There's that kind of little knocking. I don't know what that is. Could just be the pistons, could just be the old engine, but everything in here is running fine. Now if you want to check the idler rollers, what you can do is either take a pipe like this, like his breaker bar, or a long screwdriver, a long flathead, or there's actually things you can buy called the stethoscope. And what you do is you put it on the bolt of the thing and listen. So that one, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That one, that one sounds a bit funny. They all should sound relatively the same. Here's the belt tensioner. Everything should sound the same and if something sounds out of the order um, or just really bumpy in general, it probably needs to be replaced. Don't put it on anything that's moving. Everything sounds great, everything sounds the same, and you're good, you're ready to go, you just replaced it, good job. Two car videos that are always the same. Oil uh, replacement videos and serpentine belt replacements. Why? Because they're the easiest things to do. And they're two common, very common things that you need to do. Um, but I made this video because I didn't know that engine mounts were a thing inside of it. Um, in, in, like, the belt was actually around the engine mount. And I didn't find any videos on YouTube to help me, so here's yours. I hope, you, if, and if you guys enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe. Liking helps me grow. And also, I don't work on cars, I game. So go check out my gaming shit. It's basically everywhere on my channel, okay? Thanks.